What's up guys, AB here once again back to break down another month's pack breakdown. So right now I'm gonna go in to the uh, new changes that we've done with the website. Uh, really excited to launch that after a lot of work. If you go into the website, you're gonna see a lot of simplified options. You're gonna see some changes. Uh, we've been warning them for a little bit. Now they come into action. This is going to be more beneficial for the long-term user experience. The website's gonna be better. Everything's gonna be better. Um, we're still working on some things, so thank you for your patience. And I will go ahead and you know let you guys know about a couple things. Uh, so such as the integration of the brand club membership. We'll get into that in a separate video, but for now I'm gonna focus on every cigar that was featured in the club membership, which is the traditional mild to medium, medium to full. Now MCP3 is either mild to medium three or medium to full threes. So we essentially expanded that option of MCP3 to both mild to medium and medium to full tiers to make it more clear and provide more flexibility. So what I'll do here differently is I'll grab one of these cigars that has been featured until I run through all of them. I'll hold it here so you can see what cigar I'm gonna talk about, and then I'll transition to a B-roll on the cigar. Really bad B-roll that I just shot, and also a uh, media card, essentially, to break down the details as I kind of give you a quick breakdown on the cigar. This is gonna be as quick as I possibly can do it. I don't wanna linger too much. I don't wanna to lose too much of your time, but also it's gonna save us going into these deep dives that are, you know, not as solid as just a quick walkthrough for every cigar that has been featured. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And the first cigar that I'm grabbing right here is, boom, right here, the Batoro Brasil, an amazing new feature in my cigar pack. Thank you, Pablo Richard, Dr. Pablo Richard for being part of this. And it's an exciting new addition, uh, a high-end cigar brand that continues to find their success in their cigar manufacturing partnership with their longtime partners, De Los Reyes Cigars, as this Brazil extension is not just considered a Vatoro fan favorite, but has cemented itself in the market as one of the brand's staples. A Brazilian tobacco lover could be a term that clearly represents Dr. Pablo Richard as the Brazilian origin tobacco is oftentimes found in a Vatoro blend. This is an unpretentious cigar that welcomes all cigar aficionados with a shiny Brazilian wrapper covering Dominican tobaccos and producing mate notes of cocoa, espresso foam, mild spice, perhaps represented by some hickory and a creamy texture all throughout. We move on to a second Paturo Cigar. This is the Serie P Clásico Exclusivo USA, which was the first introduction uh, to the American market. A highly anticipated introduction from the elusive Paturo Cigar brand was finally made when this cigar was designed for the USA Cigar Aficionado market. Uh, this was blended by co-founder and esteemed friend Patrick Martin with clear intentionality behind producing a smooth and enjoyable cigar with every smoker in mind. The highly demanded cigar uses Cuban seed tobacco grown in the Dominican Republic and age extensively prior to elaboration alongside a Brazilian wrapper that provides both sweet and spicy main notes. Distinguished by main flavors of nutmeg, dark chocolate, brownie, cherries, and earthy base. The third cigar, ladies and gentlemen, is very dear to my heart because it is a special project within the newly released or newly launched tobacco tactical cigar co within my cigar pack. It's an amazing collaboration between ourselves and tobacco tactical and these cigars are impeccable. This one in particular is produced at Tabacalera La Isla in the Dominican Republic. Our second release from the Lycos portfolio, which is the first main brand release within the Tobacco Tactical Cigar brand. This cigar dispenses itself onto the palate unpretentiously in a Robusto format, reaching an extremely flavorful profile. A deep body and bouquet of different flavors are led by an overwhelmingly floral and slightly earthy base, complemented by oscillating sweet notes such as honey, vanilla bean, and ultimately swaddled by some mild white pepper. This is not an easy to find cigar as it, it it's dropped in limited releases, at least for now, and it goes very, very fast. So this is an opportunity for people to try what this thing that we're doing with Tobacco Tactical um, entails and, you know, kind of lead you if you want to be more involved with the Tobacco Tactical venture and what we're doing. So next, enough of that. Next, we've got the Fratello Classico, but this time it comes in the coveted box-pressed 
the Boxer Vitola. A cigar that finds its uniqueness in a way that no other within the classic portfolio does. Box pressing a cigar seems to make the experience more dynamic in most cases, and this one is no stranger to that rule. The creaminess and spice found in the original Classico blend is enhanced in a more complex experience, highlighting existing punctual flavors and adding undertones of those not previously found in the aforementioned, such as a sweet maple and a mild floral note. Wow, what a cigar. Next up, we got a cigar that we featured on some of the packs got a little bit of a backlash because not enough people got this. So we try to kind of understand who didn't get this pack, who didn't get this cigar in their pack. And we were making a very small reintroduction of the Patina Sumatra, one of my dear brands, uh, very close to the heart because it is produced in a very favorable uh factory because it's just produced in somewhere i really love where they make cigars it's made by a guy that i truly love it's my guy mo malik and it's an amazing cigar so enough of me talking about how i love patina let me tell you about this cigar this cigar harnesses an uncommon approach to blending the patina has achieved a magnificent height in terms of flavor profile and complexity with this new sumatra sweet spicy and leathery notes sizzle in the palate with a stark contrast between them while a sugary base coats the palate a cinnamon punch stings the tongue, leaving a leathery finish that takes a few seconds to fade out. And perhaps this is the most exotic patina of them all. Next up, we've got a very cool cigar. It's an experimental series from Alec Bradley. If you want to read a little bit more about how I believe this experiment is going to be, has been and will be successful in the future, please go into the product description within a cigar yard and go into a little deeper in my notes on how I had a personal experience with uh, these experiments and kind of uh, theorizing about them. Uh, when I started uh, with cigars, with the cigar business, uh, around 10 years ago, my encounter with Alan Rubin, which was a really cool story, a little anecdote, but enough about me. Let's go to the cigar that has debuted it with a bang in terms of richness, boldness, and unique flavor. If you enjoy a good broadleaf, this one's got two variations, so you're in for a treat. A Honduran grown broadleaf wrapper covers a duo of Honduran and Nicaraguan harvested broadleaf leaves on top of a Honduran and Nicaraguan duo fillers, providing a medium bodied yet bold experience with main flavors of dark chocolate, coffee, raspberry, and applewood. Last but not least, we've got the Sanj Patel SP14 Black. This is a controversial brand for many reasons. We've gotten into it, but nonetheless, a brand we truly believe in. Uh, quality first and attention to detail by Sanj Patel, curator and creator of this brand since the early 90s. This guy's been around forever and want to tell you a little bit more about this cigar as we start describing it. That has an interesting mix of tobaccos on the blend that Shirley Sanj supervised and got actively involved in the development process, housing a Dominican grown wrapper over a Mexican San Andreas binder that has been barrel aged for some time and a combination of five total undisclosed fillers that we guess are also Dominican tobaccos. Again, this is made by Don Eladio Diaz. After just one year of reintroducing and reimagining his favorite cigar, which was a staple in the 90s that just, just mentioned, uh, Sanchez achieved another milestone with a compact, dense, and complex cigar that will keep you entertained through main notes of cedar wood, leather, hints of black pepper, almond bark, and natural tobacco sweetness. And ladies and gentlemen, that wraps it for all the cigars that were featured in the club membership. Again, these are all the cigars that were available to be placed in either the mild to medium and the medium to full selections. We have now simplified all of the options. You will not have combinations. You can have as many different subscriptions in your profile, but you will not have combinations such as the mild to medium plus factory direct, et cetera, et cetera. That was a complication that was counter efficient to our platform, to our system, and to what we're trying to do. So we simplified it. Now, these seven cigars are guaranteed in the pool. Depending on your selection, strength selection, uh, you will get five out of these seven cigars. These are the total that are featured. And we thank you for watching, for supporting my cigar pack, for staying and tagging along this wonderful ride. Next up, we will be releasing an elite breakdown and some deep dive in the brand club membership that has just been released. Once again, thanks for watching.